everyone, Jamie Madison here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing a woodsy masculine birthday card. You could do any card um, using this technique. It doesn't have to say birthday on it. You could put anniversary or just because or whatever die cut you have. My husband's birthday was coming up so I needed to make him a birthday card and this is what I made him. So to get started, I'm going to pull out the Simon Says Stamp Thanks and Leaves. This was from the November card kit. I just needed a floral image. So you can use any floral image that you have that are like leaves or twigs or whatever you want to put in that area. So to get started, I'm using the Nina Desert Storm. And I'm going to be drawing just a little circle that is where my sentiment is going to be going so I know how to spread my leaves out whenever I stamp them. And then to stamp them, I'm going to be using the Gina K Amalgam ink. And I'm just going to be stamping them kind of like, like a crown on my little circle that I drew. And then I'm going to show you a trick how to get more of a filler. It's going to look like a hot mess for a second, but it does come along in the end. As I take the stamp and I stamp it onto the ink, and then I take a scrap piece of paper, stamp it down on that, and whatever's left on my stamp, I use that to stamp down and it kind of gives me a gray looking color so it kind of fills in the background so it's not so bare and I really like the way this this card came out it's nice and full it does like I said look kind of like a hot mess at first it almost looks like a peacock in a way um, but it does come together so I'm gonna be using my stamp perfect from Hampton Arts it is just like the misty I got this off of Etsy. So if you're interested, you can check out Etsy. They may have a few left on there. Um, or you can check out the Misty. I also have a Tim Holtz. So it just depends. I just wanted something a little bit smaller. So I went in with um, this Stamp Perfect by Hampton Arts. I really love it. I enjoy it a lot. Um, and I am a crafty girl on a budget, so I'm always looking for the best deal um, that is legit still. Like I don't go for like the made in China um, dies and stamps and stuff like that. I still do, you know, give the credit due to the artist. So, um, I did get the stamp perfect and I do love it very much. The stamp that we're using is the Concord and Ninth. This is the sketched stripes. And for this card, we're only going to be using two colors for the entire card. So, and I'm not including the Gina K because that is an ink. So it's not really technically a color, but I am using only two distress inks for the whole card. So the first Distress ink I'm using is the Gather Twigs, and that's what I'm using to stamp this Sketch Stripes by Concord and Ninth. And I'm just tapping that down, and I'm making sure I cover it very well. And then I flip my card over, and I'm putting more stripes on there to kind of give it, you know, more of a full area. And I'm just, uh, when you're using Distress inks on this kind of paper, let it sit there for a while. This is sped up. I do rub it quite often, like just to get that ink to absorb into the paper because Distress Ink works a little bit differently than Distress Oxides. So just be aware that whenever you are stamping with them, to let it rest on the paper just for a few seconds so the paper has time to absorb that ink before you pull your stamp up. I'm going back in with that Gathered Twigs and I'm just going to ink blend all over the background and as you can see the stamp is darker than my ink blending because we let that sit there and absorb into the paper. I'm then going to take that piece and we're going to trim this down to size. I will have the dimensions of all the cuts up there in the left hand corner so be sure to check that out if you're wanting to do this exact size of card. I'm just using my Tim Holtz Tonic Paper Trimmer. This one works really well for, you know, trimming up your edges. And then I'm going in with my black soot. This is the other color. Now this is what's going to give it more of that masculine, woodsy, um, been in working hands kind of uh, card is what I was going for. My husband works at a still mill. And I wanted something that is very masculine for him. That's not going to be pinks and purples and, and the light colors. So I wanted it to look like it's it's been through some, some machines and workshops and all that. I then take my little blender and I just blend on the edges 
of the paper so no white is showing. Then I'm taking a piece of my Bristol Smooth paper because I'm going to be doing some more ink blending. I want something that's going to blend very nicely and not going to grab on. I'm going to trim that down as well so I just have a little bit of a border. I'm going to go back in with the same ink, the gathered twigs, and we're going to just blend all the edges so whenever my main image is over it that you'll just see the edges of this paper. So you don't have to worry about blending the center. Don't bother wasting your ink. You can just use that as a safe place for your, your fingers to go so they don't get all inky. Then I'm going back in with whatever's left on my black soot sponge and I'm just going to blend the edges of that as well and that way there's no white showing. Like I said, we don't want any white showing on these. The main colors are going to be browns and blacks for this card. After I finish blending that out, I'm going to go ahead and adhere the Bristol Smooth on some ultra black cardstock. This cardstock is a very heavyweight cardstock. It is 170 pounds, so it's technically not even a cardstock. It's more of a cover stock, but it is very dark, and I wanted something heavy and dark that is going to hold up very nicely. Gives it a little bit more weight to the card, makes it feel a little bit more expensive, as you would say. So I went ahead and just adhered that down with my ATG tape roller, and then I'm going in with my hemp cord, this is just a dark brown hemp cord. I'm going to wrap that around four times, but you can do as many times as you want or as little. And then I'm gonna just take a little piece of my washi tape. This is the washi tape I used when we were stamping the Concord and Ninth down, so I don't wanna waste anything. So it already had some ink on it, so I went ahead and just reused it because you're not going to see it anyways. I just made sure my placing of my hemp cord was all kind of symmetrical and even. Now I'm going to be going in with my double-sided foam tape. Whenever I go down with this, I want to make sure that I don't put this over the hemp cord. The reason for this is because the foam tape is already you know, giving dimension, and so is the hemp cord. The hemp cord is not like a flat surface like a normal piece of string would be where you could put something over it and it's not going to give it any dimension. This would because this hemp cord is so thick. So I avoided those areas because if I was to put the foam tape on the hemp cord, when I put my card down, it would have a um, extra dimension just right there on that hemp cord area and I didn't want that. I want it to be nice and flat. So I just lined it up. I didn't push hard yet down to adhere that on. I just want to make sure everything looks perfect and when I do I just kind of tap it in the center make sure it looks good. And then if it is then I just push down so everything is adhered. Now to start with my center medallion that says birthday wishes. I'm going in with the spell binders this is the die of the month. I went ahead and cut out birthday wishes on some Bristol Smooth as well. And the reason I'm using Bristol Smooth for this is because we're going to be also using those gathered twig distressed ink to color this in. Now, if I was to go back and redo this, I probably would have just blended my ink now before I did the center circle medallion to cut it out completely. But it still worked out fine. The only reason I would say um, do your ink blending before you actually cut out the finishing circle part for it is because then you'll have somewhere to hold on to as you're blending because once you get you know to where your fingers need to touch the ink that ink doesn't really dry quickly so it's going to just pop back up on your fingers and you have to keep going over the same spots so I just grabbed some washi tape and put it on uh, my fingers so I could hold down the medallion and I could still keep the ink on it so it could dry. I did go in with my black soot and I just kind of blended the edges as well. Like I said, I don't want no white showing. And then from me having to blend the black on, I just kind of went over a few little areas just to give it a little bit more of a rustic look. And then I went back in with what was left on my gather twigs and just tapped it down to where my fingerprints were so everything was nice and blended. I lightly went over with my glue and the glue I'm using is the Tombow. This is the mono liquid glue. It's the, 
it has a pin tip and a broad tip and I'm just using a little pin tip just lightly spreading that glue on then I go ahead and put that on my black medallion piece to make sure that it is adhered. Now the black medallion piece I forgot to tell you guys is the Simon Says Stamp black paper cardstock. Um, so I didn't use the ultra black for that because the ultra black is so thick it doesn't go through die cuts very easily. So I used the Simon Says Stamp black cardstock for the medallion. I went ahead and put some foam tape down and adhered that. And the foam tape I just put in between the hemp cord. So like I said, everything's nice and flat. Because if I was go over the hemp cord, then it's going to give it more of a dimension right there, and I didn't want that. Went ahead and taped this down, and to do my finishing touches, I'm going to stamp with my Versamark in the center of this card, Happiest Birthday. This is with the Simon Says Stamp Birthday Celebration. This was a little freebie way back in the day when I first started uh, stamping last year. So here are the two cards side by side. One's for my husband's birthday, and I think the other one I'm going to send out to my brother-in-law. His birthday is coming up real soon. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer them for you or help you out. Alrighty, guys. You have a great rest of your day. Bye.